Uh, uh, do I want the rag? Oh, I can't use that. Can I just fish it out with the tongs? <laughs> oh god, that would actually work! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sunbeams, I'm Gabe Castro, and today we're playing Song of Horror. To be honest, I don't really know exactly what to expect going into this game. I know it's relatively new, I know it's a horror game, I mean, well, duh. And the big thing about this game that makes it stand out from other horror games is that the gameplay actually changes as you go along through the story. I don't know exactly how, not just that the story changes when characters die or something, which I don't even know if that will happen, I'm guessing that's gonna happen, but the gameplay itself actually changes. So, so maybe I'm playing through the game and it's super spoopy and I go into the next room and Simon Cowell is there and, he, and I start singing for him. Him, and he was just like, that was a song of horror. And then suddenly the game changes and it's Super Smash Brothers and I'm fighting with Simon Cow. And then I die and I lose and that's it. That's the, that's, that's the end of the game. That's my theory anyway. Like and subscribe if you agree with me. So I don't know what to expect. I've already pinned all my hopes and dreams on Simon showing up. And we're going to get into this game. All right. And here we're going to go straight into new game. A Friday like no other. Oh, oh wow, okay, a music box. Already starting off to be pretty spoopy. Oh, green. Remember Spyro? The color of evil! Oh! Sp spoopy smoke! Spoopy smoke! What's happening? The game just started and it's already getting creepy! Oh, my diploma! <gasps> oh! Good day, sir. I'm guessing this game takes place in the 1800s or something. Or, huh, no, maybe not. He looks pretty modern day. Daniel's apartment. Is this Daniel? I'm guessing that's Daniel, otherwise he just broke into his house, which is already horrifying. Oh, and oh, wait, tutorials. Do I dare? Is this gonna be just like the last game where I'm not gonna look at the tutorials? That was Garfield. That was like, you know, that was just Garfield with this song of horror. Um, straight into it. Straight into it. Straight into it. That's an epic gamer moment right there. My old flashlight. It saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Gotta watch out for those great outdoors, man. Oh, just turned off the light. Spoopy already. It's about 7, 10, 7, 10. He just got home from work, I'm assuming. Sophie, it's taken me years to put those pictures out again. Oh no. And I'm guessing that's their son. Is that his wife and that's the son next to him? And then there's a horse. Did he adopt the horse? Is he a brony? Oh, oh the phone. Oh, cry. Is that his boss? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Just take your time. No, there's no hurry, man. So now we're in Husher's house. So... Recap, okay, so he works for a publishing company, he lost his wife, he got drunk, things got really bad for him, and Husher, the author, who we saw in that newspaper, is supposed to, I guess, send over his manuscript for his latest novel, but he didn't, he disappeared, as his boss said, and now we're trying to go find him. Doesn't seem to be that dramatic, I mean, he, he's probably just out somewhere, right? I mean, where could Sebastian have gone? I mean, was he doing an undersea concert? Hello? Husher's mansion. Luigi's mansion. Is that music? Is it Simon? Is he already here? Your light source will never run out. Your light source... Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. Okay. Now all we need is a vacuum cleaner and we'll be good to go. Alright, I guess I might as well do some exploring. The alarming seems disabled, much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, you kind of just walked in. You didn't even bother to knock or anything. Oh. Well, better get out of the bathroom. If Husher shows up and you're like in his bathroom, that's gonna be really weird. Wait a minute, music playing. Is that the song of horror? The piano? Come on, Daniel. Play some tunes for us. What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. Himuro. Himuro. Himuro-chan. That's, that's my new name for the piano. It's much more kawaii. Look at all those bottles. And to think they almost ruined my life. Mm, you and Husher might have something in common. Maybe you guys start end up being like buddies after all this. It began on a Tuesday. I just broke into his house. Oh, there's another door here. Oh, okay. Ooh, the music is definitely getting louder. We're getting closer. Simon, don't jump scare me. I have to admit, the creepiest thing about this game so far is probably Daniel. Man, bro, you gotta shave or something. All right. 
Let's turn off this flashlight because you know it's the middle of daytime right now. Conserve energy, Daniel. Jeez. Climate change. Hello. Ooh, what's this? A letter. Let's peek into somebody else's personal property. You have found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing A to examine the backside. Use R. You can access your inventory and collect the items at any time. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So let's investigate this. Ooh, ooh. You know what? This is actually really cool because it feels very, very old school. Like in a 90s game, like whenever you go over an item, like it would all kind of, it would kind of like rotate in 3D because it was like, whoa, 3D is so cool, bro. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. Hey, man, you can't rush art, okay? It's the Toy Story guy. Listen to him. He knows his stuff. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say ear. You have to listen for yourself. I have never heard this song before and my attempts at finding the score or the name of the composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Well, that's not a, a bad thing. I don't, I don't think so. This guy is making it sound like it's a complete natural disaster. That's a matchbox. Can't think of any reason, reasons to burn the house down. Yet, Daniel. I think our boy Daniel might have some problems. That music's coming from the opposite direction. I need to find whoever's playing that music box. Why? You're looking for a husher. You're not looking for music. Japanese swords. Anything from that country is popular now thanks to those stupid cartoons. Hey, those cartoons are called anime, okay? Okay. Here we go. Daniel. You better turn back now, man, before it's too late. You're just trying to find the guy. You're not trying to get involved in anything crazy. <gasps> oh! Did he lock himself in? Is this like Untitled Goose Game? This is it. I get the feeling there's no going back now. Yay. <laughs> and I screamed until my throat began to Oh my burn. gosh. The candle started to run out. As did the batteries in my toy. The game said they were From unlimited! In the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. days. A vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere. Th this narration, by the way, is really good. It's actually really good. There, and the song from that music. Daniel, you should be a writer. Dang, this is really good, actually. I wondered if I was going to die there. It's either that or Husher comes in wondering what you're doing in his house. He's been so Daniel's been three days later. You've been trapped. You've been trapped for days. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Sophie? Oh, Sophie. <gasps> no. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no. This response. is your fault. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. Gee, What's I wonder address? why. And this is it. This is a really big moment right here. Sophie Van Den En. So we get to choose our characters now. Age 40. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end. Put and end. To put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Oh, so she did divorce him. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she had always longed for. So we got Sophie, Etienne, Alexander. We don't have Mashi yet, but we do have Alina. I guess I'll just pick Sophie. There's no real reason, but she has the closest relationship with Daniel, so it just makes the most sense to play her. And it honestly is cool that she does care about him in spite of everything that they've been through with each other. September 28, 1998. So she's going to Husher's place after all. Okay. That's good. That's good. I would want somebody to go in after him. It's just nuts, though. Daniel seemingly has made little progress. I thought that he would like go through the door and keep looking for the music box, but apparently he just trapped himself. Is this 1998 or 1888? Why are you going in with the candle in that outfit, Sophie? All right, here we go. Let's hope we don't end up being victim number two. Chapter one, the Husher Mansion. Oh, this is new. Uh-oh, an emergency boiler? In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning. Keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Is this something we're gonna have to do? Is the boiler gonna explode at some point? An old rusty metal box closed shut. Fuses? I'm gonna have to open that box to get the fuses, probably to turn the electricity back on. I'm one step ahead of the game. So far for the most part, everything is pretty much exactly the way that Daniel left. 
I would fit under that table quite easily, easily. Were I in need of hiding? What's that supposed to mean? What's this? A metal ring? Huh. A wedding ring, maybe? Okay. Wow, this is really getting cool. I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. Sophie, no! No, that's how you die! Japanese swords both look authentic. I couldn't even imagine them as museum pieces. Clearly she doesn't know what anime is. A key! I see a key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've gotta lubricate it somehow. We've got mortar oil. First things first, let's try to let's try using this key on the different doors of the house and see what happens. The key fits in the lock. Okay. That's good to know. Nope! Nope! Nope, and right out of there. Nope, that sounds- that's the kind of dangle door. That's the door you go in where you don't come back. Dusty No, hey, this is new. A note found in the mansion entrance written by Catherine, Husher's wife, on 9th September 4th, 1998. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. Gee, that would have been helpful. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. I may have no choice. I may have to go through this door, and I don't want to because I have the feeling that if I go through this door, I am not coming back out. I may have to take my chances though. I think I'm gonna take my chances. I can't figure out what to do. Okay guys, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh wait, it's just another room. It's just another room. I thought I, th I, thought I was a goner if I go down here. Daniel, is that you? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. That was hard. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it can still be lurking in the shadows. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. What the heck was that? Wow. What was pushing that door? Or who was pushing that door? The game didn't do a really good job checking this dialogue. I don't think I want to go through that door. <gasps> oh no, now what? Upstairs! The game is letting us go upstairs now! <gasps> the game is letting us go upstairs now! First off, let's take a look around. Do not look at this photo. How could this happen to me? Oh god! Oh no. Oh no. No, not this again. No. No, 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 no. Seems the coast is clear. <gasps> I saw a child! The broken piece of the ring seems to match the shaft stuck in the keyhole. Could I glue them together somehow? Whoa, that was just random. I didn't think that would work actually. Nothing of interest here. And elevation plans. Oh, there's three floors to this mansion. We've only checked out the first one. We only checked out the ground floor and the first floor. We've never been on the third floor. There might be some scaffolding or something that we can use. 15. I believe it will be fine that way. I'll attempt to turn on the switch to see if it works. Okay, we finally figured it out. It took a lot of guesswork, but I think we got it. Holy cow, the house actually has power now! That helps Finally. a lot. That actually Daniel, really, really helps a lot. Uh, that's the bathroom. <gasps> I saw that! Who was that? I feel like we're getting really... Uh... Well... That was a thing. Okay, let me back up. Let me head back upstairs. <gasps> Who is that? We know about Julia and Saul. Is that uh, Sebastian's wife? We just need to figure out the painting by the staircase upstairs. Ah, uh, 
I'm upstairs. Um. Uh. Oh, jeez. Upstairs. Um. Jeez. I have to remember. Where can I hide upstairs? Oh, there's a wardrobe. Get hide in. here. Hide here. Okay, that was really lucky. Okay. What just happened? That was crazy. Wow, that was super lucky. I thought I had to, I thought I'd have to make like a mad dash for it. But there was a wardrobe in this room. Which you've never been here before, actually. Your boiler oh, wait a second. Your boiler pleased to be running. I see leaks all over it, many different damn spots. Okay. Okay, wow, I, I the boiler finally. But uh there is no blue button. Unless my eyes need help, but Oh! Oh, they light up! Okay. Oh, I get it. So, hold down the blue button for four seconds. And that's it! The water's gone! Perfect! All right! So now we can open the garage. And I still have no idea what the heck the painting that I'm supposed to find to open up the safe. I still have no idea. That is one puzzle I have yet to figure out. But we will persevere. No painting's gonna stop us. You hear me, Bob Ross? Oh, another bathroom. I see something down there. Uh, uh, do I want the rag? Oh, I can't use that. Can I just fish it out with the tongs? <laughs> oh god, that would actually work! Oh, wait, what? A dirty old rag doll. Oh, okay. That, that, that couldn't have been worse. Notes with chores and odd jobs to do. Some are written in acrylic lamp. Ah! It's opening! Do something fast! No! 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 I I was confused at first. I thought we had to hide. God damn it! That was close. That was close. That was generally close. I I almost lost it for a second there. Who? Hey, Julia. Are you okay? <gasps> what? what? Where did she go? I'm afraid of fight. Should I go out this window? Uh, I mean, there's honestly no reason to, but there is supposed to be a third floor that we've seen because of the blueprints that we got earlier in the game. So we kind of have to if we ever want to get up there. So. Come on, Sophie. We made it this far. Oh. 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 Yeah, that, um... That's... Wow. That's so disappointing. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. That's so dis... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I killed her. I actually killed her. I didn't think that would happen. Oh my god. Oh no. That's so disappointing. I, I was really, I really liked her. Oh gosh, and there's no way we can go back in this game. Dang. I'm so upset with myself. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. I really didn't think that would happen. The blueprint said that there was a third floor. And it's not like there was any other way to get up there. Oh gosh, I don't want to play with any of these guys. They're not worthy. Stay Come back to me. To me <laughs> so my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so disappointed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really, really tried. I didn't think that would happen. And for what it's worth, we made it really, really, really far without anything happening. I am just idiot who cares about you. That's gonna be it for now, guys. I have to decide what I'll do. I don't if I either I'll keep going with whatever his name is, idiot, idiot, whatever his name is. I'll keep going with him, or I'll just restart the episode from scratch. And it, that sounds like a lot of work, but I, I don't mind doing it because that was it was really dumb. And I know that's not the way the game is supposed to be played, but I I really wanted. I, I'm just so upset. Right now, I'll, I'll figure out what to do. But guys, thank you so much. This game was amazing. It was really, really good. It felt very, very, very old school. Like the exploration, 
taking its time, all the puzzle solving, getting really frustrated and, f and just kind of giving up and looking online to figure out some stuff. Um, in fairness, everything is solvable so far. I think there's a certain sequence that you kind of have to follow or should follow in order for some puzzles to make sense. But it's just... I can't believe it. Like, I'm so upset right now. I mean, I'll figure out. I'll, I'll, I'll have to think. I honestly have to think because I might honestly just start from scratch, play with Sophie again. It'll take, like, a, pretty much a whole other day of recording and practicing, but I'll... I'll, I'll figure it out, but I I don't know if I really want this because that was just dumb. The thing is that just it, it was so dumb. Like I, I like uh, I don't know. But I'll figure it out. I'm not giving up on these characters. I'm not giving up on this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this episode, please give me a like and subscribe more for uh, bleh. please give me a like and subscribe for more content that's coming up. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.